So far, they are the top team in their league in the Women's Independent Football League. This is the Sharks' 14th season, but it will be their first championship season since 2002. Joining me in the studio is Coach Rich Harrigan. Coach, in your fifth year, welcome. Thanks for having me today, Mike. And also Nicole Borges, who plays center, and Jewel Grimsley, defensive back and running back. How's the season been going so far? It's been going excellent. 6-0. 6 and 0. Great. It's the best season of my life, actually. <laughs> right. Now, tell us your background, because this is your first season, right, with this with team? The Sharks, yes. With the Sharks, yes. Um, you want my football background? Yeah. Uh, I played my senior year in high school. I was the first female to play on the high school team, Bergenfield High School. I also played on the New Jersey Titans, uh, probably 2000, we'll say years ago, because I don't want to get technical with okay, the years. No um, and I, this is my first year with the Sharks, and it's probably been the best experience of my life so far. Jewel, you're in your third season. Yes, I am. How's it been going for you? Um, amazing. Uh, this is probably one of the better seasons for myself. Uh, we have a really, really big rookie class, and they're doing amazing. So. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. You also have a military background. Yes, I do. Tell us about that. I've uh, been in the military of the Army for eight years. Um, I am right now serving on a special duty assignment of a recruiter, so I'm recruiting out in New Jersey playing for the New Sharks. Off, you guys are just off a win in Baltimore. Tell us about that win, Coach. Well, um, you know, this is a new season. Well, it seems like, you know, you know, even though this is my fifth year, every year seems like a really a new, um, a, a new experience. Because the, the conference changes, the division changes. This year we were all there's there's no divisions anymore. They're just conferences. So we're on the Eastern Conference, and we're all in one big. You know, we're all, we're all together. Okay. So every game is important. Every game is is, is very meaningful. Um, but we this is my first time playing against the Baltimore Nighthawks though since I started. For some reason, just the way the schedule worked out, uh, they're a very competitive. Um, very physical team, mm -hmm. um, and it was a challenge for us because although we're very physical, we also we're more of a finesse team compared to them. Um, so we had to find that that medium ground. Nice. Uh, they had a great ground game, and we had a great defense. So eventually, that bent a little bit, but 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 didn't break. And our offense really clicked in this game. You're six and zero right now. How will you go to seven and zero? Because this week. You, this weekend coming up, you have a bye. Mm -hmm. So you get a chance to heal those wounds and maybe have a walk through practices and that sort of thing. Yes, uh, we have the bye week this week. Um, like you said, we'll get a lot of rest in. Uh, we're definitely going to have practices yeah. also. Um, but we see uh, the Carolina team coming up on June 4th. The Carolina yeah. Queens, yes, right? Yes, yes. You were tied. Yeah, Phoenix, 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 Carolina okay. Phoenix, yeah. And you're tied with the, well, you're not tied with them, but they're, they're right, right there. Right, they're second also. Right. also. Right, but they're in second place right now. As far as, let's talk about your relationship with the NFL. You had an NFL experience recently yes, right? we in did. New Orleans. Let's talk about yes, that. Yes, we did. Um, myself and TJ over here, we were able to experience uh, going down to New Orleans for a week and got to train in the New Orleans Saints training facility. We were coached by um, probably the, one of you know top coaches in the USA football, and um, they opened their facility to us for the week. We got to uh, you know train in their fields. We got to eat in their cafe. They took really good care of us, the New Orleans Saints. What did it mean to you? Uh, it was it was my obviously my first World Games experience, so um, I was already pumped and excited about that one. Um, but to be in the New Orleans Saints facility uh, was it was outstanding. Um, seeing females or women from all over the world coming over to play the same game that we all love. Uh, so the experience was it was amazing. As a group, as a team, and as a league, are you guys getting the notoriety you deserve? I mean, your team has been around what, some 14 years right now, Coach. Right. Right. What do you feel? Well, I mean, it's never hit the plateau that we're looking for. But this year, thanks to our publicist slash PR slash assistant coach Colette Smith, who's done a fabulous job in getting the word out, um, social media through, you know, connection with other professional teams. Um, that's getting us the exposure that we would like to see. But there's more to come, we're getting closer and closer to that goal. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually we'll get there it's where we're actually being a recognizable force or name in sports. Let's take also. I got to take another look at something else. As you know, the big, the big thing in football these days, high school, college, NFL, is injuries and especially head injuries. How? What is your team's approach? What is your league's approach when it comes to this issue of head concussions? Well, a, f a few years ago, um, you know, we were 
we got connected, the league, IWFL, the, the Independent Women's Football League, um, connected with the Heads Up program, mm -hmm. um, which is also sanctioned by the NFL and, and, and other entities, and USA Football mm -hmm. is really the, 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 the connection. And we basically went through that process of training and being certified through the Heads Up program to come back to our respective teams and teach them the proper way of tackling from the from the beginning of minicamp and work through the process where we really work on keeping your head up, proper angle, proper proper approach, yeah. that okay. whole nine. Mm -hmm. So we really put a lot of time and effort to into it. Yeah, right. to, to technique. Okay. All right. So as far as and also recovery. And recovery. Right. 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 So because there's head concussion management. Right. I mean, I've been fortunate five years with this team. We've only had one or two cases that I think were somewhat where the woman had to not play football anymore or she had to make a decision not to play, um, but it still exists. When it comes to notoriety, do you feel you're getting it also? I mean, it's getting there uh, when it comes to women's and uh, women's football in general. Yeah. Um, we have, I know, a couple of players that are actually getting, you know, publicized. They're getting uh, sponsors or something like that. So it's, it's, it's off to a better start. That's what I can say. All right. All right. I think the same thing. Um, from eight years ago when I played to now, it's definitely uh, opened up. Um, I feel we definitely need to have more recognition and respect for what we do because we do put in the time and the hard work and the effort, and you know we we just want to be recognized for it. Your home games you play at Aviator Sportsplex yes. Floyd Bennett Field. The last game is June 11th. From what I gather, first time in history, Sparja League, women all there's going to be all female team referee uh, squad out yes. there. Yes. That's going to be the first of its kind. Yeah, yes. that'll be the first of its, of its kind. And all women's officiating crew. Right. Um, you know, we have to owe our CFO, uh, Dana Sparling, for that. She is a big proponent um, of, 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 of making that happen. Right. And we're very proud to be a part of it. That'll be a great, a, a great day. You know, win or lose the game is, is, is important, right? But that's but the step. most, it's that's a, step a big right step in the right direction. direction. Right. Yeah. Um, any particular team you're looking forward to playing in the postseason? I know you beat you defeated Montreal twice. Right. Um, well, the way we're at right now, the postseason's already started. We can't lose a game for us to make the playoffs. You had a heck of a game over the weekend. Hmm. Tell us about that play. <laughs> we can some, run some of that footage when you were running down the sideline. Oh, um, Coach, uh, have been beating me up about getting to where I need to be and, like, not giving up on a play. Right. Um, so um, I had pretty much marched, you know, we marched down the field, uh, and then it was like a 30-yard uh, <laughs> The, was it a toss play? Toss play. <laughs> toss play to the outside. And uh, made it around one of the defensive ends or linebackers. And I'm sitting tight rope in the line trying to make sure I stayed in bounds when in reality I was completely off balance. But mm -hmm. I managed to stay in line. And you tight roped it down yeah, All the way down the field. <laughs> <laughs> all the way down the field. <laughs> Offensive line, you guys are the key to the team. Yes, you sir. are the, the <laughs> ground support. Yes. I, what, what is the keys to being a good offensive line? Also? Uh, it's just a matter of trusting who, who you're next to. Right. Um, the the O-line has to work as a unit. And, you know, if one person's off, it throws off everything. So my main goal is just to make sure that we're all on the same page and we know our job and what we have to do and, you know, just make sure we stay together. Right. All right. So the season, start, season ends June 11th. Next home game? Next home game is June 11th. We'll be playing the Washington Prodigy. Yes. Very, very tough opponent. Yes. Uh, so, like I said, we, you know, from this point out, we have to win every game, and then, and then the playoffs really start officially. But for us, we're in the playoffs now. All right. Iota Phi Theta. All 1963, day. Morgan State. All right. Thanks, Coach, for coming. Appreciate it. All right.